In this video, we will see how to create user mailboxes in Exchange 2016, including creating bulk mailboxes. Like, what if you have hundreds of users already there, you know, and you want to create their mailboxes? So there should be some method, fast and quick, that allows you to create all those mailboxes in a quick time. So that's what we will cover in this video. Here we have our Exchange server, and by default, we have just one mailbox for administrator. And now we will see how to create the new mailbox, a new user mailbox. In order to create a new user mailbox, all you have to do is just simply click over here, yeah, new mailbox, and you have two options. You want to create a mailbox for existing user or you want to create a new user account. If you have, as you can see, uh, existing user, you will choose the first option. And if you want to create a new user, all you have to do is just select the second option, which is new user, and write the first name, last name, in my case, Johnny Cage, where I would like this account to be stored in Active Directory. I will choose the appropriate organizational unit. All right. Then what you have to do, the, you specify the user, uh, user login name for the user and password. Retype the password. It's basically, it's like creating new user. And this is something, yeah. Here we have to mention or select that where exactly I want this user mailbox to be stored, on which database. I have two databases, employees and executive, and I choose employees DB for it. So this user mailbox will be stored in employees DB database. And this is it. We completed all the fields. So I will save it. And here it is. I have a new user called Johnny Cage, and a mailbox has been created for this user. Uh, how he got this email address? Well, it's based on the policy. And now we will see how to do that for existing user. Just all you have to do, select the user that you want. In my case, pivot and specify the database. And I will choose again employees DB and that's it. And here it is, David McDonald's is all set. So this is the way we do this is the way we do it for existing user. Now how about if I want to do this for multiple users at the same time? Uh, before that, just let me show you the email address policy. Uh, in case if you are wondering how these email addresses are generated, uh, here. You see by default it's alias. So whatever the username is, it's just creating email address based on username at then the accepted domain. Okay, 
So we have seen how to create a new user mailbox by creating a new user and how to create mailbox for existing user. What we have, what, what, what about in a case that I have hundreds of other users and I want to create mailbox for all of them? Do I have to do one by one? For example, if I go to user mailbox again and choose existing user option, and if I press control key or shift key, oops, it's not working. I can select just one at a time. So come on, do I have to do this 100 times if I have 100 users and I need to create 100 mailboxes for them? Come on, this is not practical, right? That's why we have something called Exchange Management Shell. Because by using Exchange Management Shell, I can execute some PowerShell commands and create bulk mailboxes. There are several methods, and all those methods involve the exchange management shell. There is no GUI method, unless I'm using some third-party utility. If I want to create mailboxes for all my existing users in one shot, oh, sorry, existing users in one shot, then we have three methods. Uh, one of the method is the CSV file method, where I can use some file and export and import them. Um, I am not uh, going to show that method over here. Instead, I will show you all the another two methods. One of it, it's a PowerShell command, get user, recipient type details user, then filter for the user principal name not equal to null, and then the output of this command we are piping to another command which is enable mailbox. In this case, wherever I will find a user account, where the user principal name is not equal to null, it will create mailbox or enable mailbox for that type of user. You can use this option, but just be careful about systems uh, account. And another drawback for this option one that I cannot specify a particular database, and that can be done in option two. Option two, get user, and here is why I specify the target organization unit, and then whatever will be the output, I will pipe it to another command, which is enable mailbox, and then I can specify the destination database where I want those mailbox to be created. This command is very handy because it allows me to select the appropriate database where I want to create mailboxes, as well as I can do that at OU levels. So for example, that's where your organization unit design and Active Directory comes handy. Let's say in your organization, if you want to create databases based on departments, and you have organization units based on department or departments, then all you have to do, select that particular organization unit, and then using this option two method, you can specify a particular database for that particular organization unit. So for example, administrator, uh, admin department, they have an, will have an account in admin OU, and their mailboxes can be created in a database called admin. So let me just show you my Active Directory over here. Uh, and in case if you're wondering what that corp is, in my case, I have a top-level organization unit in my domain called Corp, 
and then I have all other departments, organization, un organizational unit under it, like admin, finance, IT, marketing, sales. So all my users are in their respective OUs, their accounts in their respective OUs, and all those OUs are gathered under an organization unit called CORP. So CORP is the parent OU, and other departments OUs are child OUs. So here I'm saying get user, then organization unit name, which is CORP, and then I am piping that to enable mailbox and the destination database in my case is employees DB. So first I execute the command to see what database we have, get mailbox databases. We have two databases, employees and executive. So I would like to create all my mailboxes under employees database, employees DB database. So I just executed this commandlet and let's see what happens. All right, yep. We see some output. That's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. So it succeeded. All mailboxes has been created. There are two errors presented in red. But if you see, this error is simply saying it cannot process the user administrator and Johnny Cage uh, and Mark Nicholas, basically Mark Nicholas and Johnny Cage, sorry, not administrator. Why? Because if you recall, we have already created mailboxes for Johnny Cage and Mark Nicholas. Oh, sorry, David McDonald, I'm sorry. I'm just, anyway, it's a user. So for these two users, we have already created our uh, mailboxes and if I refresh and voila all other users now have their mailboxes let me just customize this view and select database and yep as you can see all my users now have their mailboxes created uh, inside employees DB database. So this way I created mailboxes for all of my users. As I said, the command gave me two error. The reason for those that error is those two users already had mailboxes. Good thing is it did not, you know, yeah, it did not um, get interrupted. It just skipped that error and just proceeded until it executed or it get executed for all the users. It did not hang on error and that's a good thing. And this way, what you can also do in your environment, create mailboxes for all your users. Very handy, especially in an environment where you have your organizational unit representing your exchange database design.